Her friends are planning a candlelight vigil for Demi Kusha Sunday night at 8 o'clock at the Gateway High School football stadium. They say they had warned her that she was in an abusive relationship, that her boyfriend didn't want her on the cheerleading squad, didn't want her wearing a bikini, and that he was driving a wedge between her and her friends. It appears that when she finally decided she wanted out, it was a fatal decision. Jennifer Ann Crescente was an 18-year-old honor student at a high school in Austin, Texas, when she was shot and killed by a former 19-year-old boyfriend the day after Valentine's Day of this year. The facts are clear, the evidence is presented. Violence is an alarmingly prevalent occurrence in the realm of teen dating. Studies indicate that dating violence is not solely designated to a particular socioeconomic, ethnic background, or denominational affiliation, but is rather the result of multifaceted and complex beliefs, influences, and mindsets. Dating violence is defined as the perpetration or threat of an act of violence by at least one member of an unmarried couple on the other member within the context of dating or courtship. This violence encompasses all forms, sexual assault, physical violence, verbal, mental, or emotional abuse. But what causes dating violence? How is it manifested and how can it be treated or prevented? As arbitrary as it may seem, specific forms of influence and indoctrinations can lead to dangerous convictions concerning the female role in intimate relationships, such as in the popular media. Organized religion can also be identified as a precursor to dating violence as it holds the capability to perpetuate archaic sexual principles. While no specific organization, teaching, or principle can be fundamentally blamed and targeted as a direct cause to dating violence, we can certainly examine and identify the dangerous messages that they convey to those apt to harm others during the dating experience. A real man is physical. Strong. Independent. He's powerful. Physical. Intimidating. Strong. Independent. In control. Rugged. Scarce people. Powerful. Respected. Hard. A stud. Athletic. He's muscular. A real man is tough. What is masculinity? Masculinity is often associated with characteristics such as aggressiveness, competitiveness, dominance, strength, courage, and control. Masculine traits such as toughness and dominance are traits that are learned from watching older men. Research suggests that when fathers and other male family members offer positive roles, boys develop a more flexible vision of manhood and are more respectful in their relationship with women. All members of the family have important roles in raising boys, including fathers and grandfathers. Boys and men may also participate in dating violence because of the following reasons. Disruptive home environment, lack of positive male role models, a peer context characterized by substance use, gang involvement, behavior supporting the sexual maltreatment of girls, or school circumstances characterized by a lack of academic support. There are other common contributing factors relating to dating violence, previous aggressiveness or violent behavior in a past relationship. If a young male has experienced physical abuse or sexual abuse as a child, he is more likely to be an abuser while in a relationship. There is also evidence that shows genetic factors or brain damage from a head injury, which also may play a role in aggression. Exposure to violence in media is also a contributing factor. Young males have said that watching pornography and violence towards women on TV have influenced them to be aggressive towards their partner. A combination of stressful family socioeconomic factors including poverty, severe deprivation, marital breakup, single parenting, unemployment, or loss of support from an extended family also play a role in factors contributing to dating violence. Dating abuse occurs in relationships where conflict is the continuous result of power inequality between the partners and one partner is afraid of and harmed by the other. Men who view stressful situations as threatening and repressing emotions were 3.5 times more likely to commit domestic violence than those who didn't share that combination of traits. Also, 92% of the domestic abuse assailants reported use of alcohol or other drugs on the day of the assault.
The following is a quote that a man said after going to treatment for a center for dating violence. It's like getting a new toy. I had the buttons and I could make her do whatever I wanted. I was trying to intimidate her. I wanted to control her for the simple reason that I knew I could do it. It made me feel powerful.